Hello student. In the last lecture, we have discussed about asexual reproduction in angiosperms. Today, we will discuss about the sexual reproduction in angiosperm. We have seen that the sexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction that involves the formation and fusion of male and female gametes and the produces embryo and then into the nuclear. So, this is the process in which the plants produces the male and the female gametes by the process known as the meiosis. These formed gametes fuse with each other at the time of fertilization to form the zygote and then produces the new individual. That process is generally known as the sexual reproduction. In angiosperm, for the process of sexual reproduction, the flower is a specialized reproductive structure of a plant in which sexual reproduction takes place. Means, one of the sexual reproduction sati jo vishishta prakar ka part tayar kela gela la hai tya part la kai matla ta flower asa matla the function of the flower is to produce haploid gametes and to ensure that fertilization will take place so the function of the flower is to produce the haploid gamete that is the male and female gametes are produced by means of with the help of the flower and these male and female haploid gametes fuses at the time of fertilization to develop into the new plant. Now we will discuss about the structure of flower. The structure of the flower which we have already discussed in the 11th standard here we will only revise about the structure of the flower. This portion of the flower that is known as the stalk of the flower which is known as the pedicel. The upper portion of the pedicel, that is the receptacle, are also known as the thalamus. On this thalamus, different types of floral whorls are arranged. These floral whorls are of two types, essential floral whorls and non-essential floral whorls. Non-essential floral whorls are those which does not participate in the process of sexual reproduction. Those are known as the <coughs> non-essential Whorls, while those whorls which directly participate in the process of sexual reproduction are known as the essential whorls of the flower, that is the androsium and gynosium. We will see one by one. The outermost whorl is known as the calyx, made up of sepals. They, they are generally green in color, they take part in the process of photosynthesis, and when the flower is in bud condition, they protect the essential whorls of the flower. The second whorl of the flower, which is a colored portion that is known as the corolla, it is made up of the petals. Number of petals varies according to the plant. Generally, the petals are colored. Shakyato, Jhadan Madhya, Jalapan Pakra Manto, the petals are, he Shakyato, Rangi Tasta, Jene Koron, pollination chaveles, then Chakada, justice, just the kitak attract to him, and pollination la madate. So these are the petals. So the calyx and corolla, calyx is made up of sepals, corolla is made up of petals. These are known as the non-essential whorls of the flower. While essential whorls of the flower, androsium and gynosium. Androsium is the male reproductive whorl, gynosium is the female reproductive whorl. Androsium is made up of stamen. Each stamen is made up of anther and the filament. We will discuss a detail about these Reproductive parts at the time of development of male and female gametophyte. Puda Punjavis male and female gametophyte Bagnarawat, Tavilis, stamens, and carpel, he is a reproductive part and structure detail. My Japan Tavilis, Tatikani, Boga. But the take a lakshadia, the male reproductive structure are hejala, androsium matlata, the stamens tibanilata, female reproductive structure, the hejala, gynosium, kyopan carpel monto, he stigma, style, and ovary money. So that is all about the structure of the flower which is present in the angiosperm plant for the process of sexual reproduction. Ha part baryat pramanat apan akravila complete ke lila hota to atta fakti aati kari apan revise ke lila. Now we will see the male reproductive structure that is known as the androsium. The male reproductive whorl of the flower is called as androsium. Individual members of androsium is called as stamens. Each stamen is made up of filament, connective and the anther. So here the diagrammatic representation of that anther is there. This portion is the anther which is made up of stamen. Each stamen is made up of anther that is the bilobed anther. 
these two anther lobes are connected with a tissue known as the connective the tubular structure by means of which the anther gets attached to the thalamus is known as the filament this is sectional view of anther which we have we were going to see uh, in the uh, structure of anther here <coughs> the pollen grains are present inside this pollen sac and this is the filament this is the transverse section of the cell so the structure of anther which is made up of stamen e which is made up of two different types of anther lobes connective and the filament now we will see the internal structure of the anther which is the important part as far as the reproductive structure male reproductive structure anther is concerned so it is bilobed anther in the transverse section we can clearly observe that in each anther lobe this portion is a single anther lobe and this is the second anther lobe in each anther lobe two pollen sacs are present these two anther lobes are connected with each other with the help of a tissue known as the connective je apan magashi sangitlo hota apan anther connective ani filament to jo connective cha portion ahe to connective cha portion ita ahe jacha sahayane ha ani ha anther lobe ek mekala connect kela jato mhanun ha jo tissue ahe yala kay matlela ahe कनेक्टिव म्हटलं ना प्रत्येक अँथर वॉल जो आहे एका विशिष्ट प्रकारचा सिंगल लेअर ने बनलेला असतो द आउटर मोस्ट लेअर इज नोन ऍज द एपिडर्मिस विच इज सिंगल सेलड स्ट्रक्चर इट इज हॅव्हिंग अ सिंगल लेअर इच सेल ऑफ दॅट एपिडर्मिस आर कॉम्पॅक्टली अरेंजड विथ इच अदर दे आर अरेंजड लाईक द ब्रिक्स विटांची जशी मांडणी असते त्या पद्धतीने एका लेवल मध्ये त्या बरोबर पूर्णच्या पूर्ण अँथर लोबला अँथर जो आहे तो एका विशिष्ट प्रकारच्या लेअरने जो पूर्ण कव्हर केलेला आहे तो एपिडर्मिस एपिडर्मिसच्या आतल्या साईडला दोन ते तीन लेअर्स असतात ज्याला मिडल लेअर्स म्हटलं जातं आणि एपिडर्मिस आणि मिडल लेअर याच्यामध्ये एक ते दोन लेअर परत दुसऱ्या लेअर्स असतात ज्याला म्हटलं जातं एन्डोथेशियन ह्या तिन्ही लेअर एपिडर्मिस मिडल लेअर आणि एन्डोथेशियन they are protective in function they protect the essential part of the flower that is the pollen grain the endothecium are a special kind of cells which are present in the anther lobe which are useful at the time of dehiscence of the pollen grain when the anther gets mature the pollen grains are released that process is known as the dehiscence of the pollen grain at that time this endothecium takes part important role they are hygroscopic they can absorb the water or release the water so at the time of dehiscence of the pollen grain this anther wall get burst due to the endothecium they gets broken down and two anther lobes are merge in each other and the endothecium layer burst open to release the pollen grain this central portion is known as the pollen sac or pollen chamber in each anther lobe two pollen sacs or pollen chambers are present so in bilobed anther four pollen sacs or four pollen chambers are present each pollen sac is bounded by a single layer of cells which is known as the tapetum they are protective in function and this tapetum has a unique character they possesses the chloroplast due to that they can synthesize the food material and supplies nourishment to the developing pollen grains inside the pollen sac pollen sac madhe je kai pollen grain tayar honar ahet yanna anna purvatha karnyacha kaam je ahe ta tapetum cha cells kartat karan tancha madhe chloroplast asto to chloroplast photosynthesis karto ani photosynthesis kelyamule te anna tayar kartat ani tayar kelela anna je ahe te aat madhe supply kelat याच्या आतमध्ये जे असतात त्या सेल्सला म्हटलं जातं पोलन मदर सेल किंवा बऱ्याच वेळा त्याला असं म्हटलं जातं मायक्रोस्पोअर मदर सेल दे आर डिप्लॉईड इन नेचर इच पोलन मदर सेल और मायक्रोस्पोअर मदर सेल अंडरगोज रिडक्शन डिव्हिजन टू प्रोड्यूस फोर हॅपलॉईड पोलन ग्रेन एका पोलन मदर सेल पासून चार पोलन ग्रेन्स त्या ठिकाणी तयार होतात त्या पट्टीमध्ये असेल समजा त्या ठिकाणी दहा पोलन मदर सेल्स असतील तर चाळीस पोलन ग्रेन तयार होतील या पद्धतीनं त्या प्रोडक्शन जे आहे ते पोलन ग्रेन हे सगळे जे दिसतात हे पोलन ग्रेन तयार झाले आहेत पोलन मदर सेल पासून या पद्धतीनं या स्ट्रक्चर जे आहे ते अंतर या पद्धतीचं 
now the process of the microsporogenesis that is the formation of the pollen grains from the pollen mother cell that is known as the microsporogenesis suruvatila pollen grain la pollen grain asa na manta microspores matla jata ta ani te je microspore ahe microspore mother cell pasun tayar hotat manun tya process la kay manla jata microsporogenesis from single microspore mother cell four haploid megaspores are formed that process is known as microsporogenesis so after microsporogenesis pollen grains are the microspores here uh, instead of megaspore the haploid microspores are produced so here printing mistake is there instead of megaspore the word must be microspore each microspore or pollen grain is bounded by two layers the outer layer is a thick and uh, known as the exine the exine may be smooth or it may be the spiny according to the requirement of the plant jar samja vanaspati madhe kitakancha sahyana pollination chi prakriya hot asel tar tya veles ha exine jo asto kateri asto spiny asto ani jar samja varyacha kiwa panyacha sahyana hot asel ha exine kasa asto smooth asto doni madhe hi to kasa asto thick dusra vaishishta asa ahe ha jo exine ahe yacha madhe vishishta prakar cha chemical compound asto ज्याच नाव आहे स्पोरोपोलेनिन ह्या स्पोरोपोलेनिन मुळ पोलन ग्रेनच डी कम्पोजिशन टाळलं जात इट एवॉइड द डी कम्पोजिशन ऑफ द पोलन ग्रेन बाय मीन्स ऑफ अ केमिकल कंपाउंड विच इज प्रेझेंट इन द एक्झाइन नोन ऍज द स्पोरोपोलेनिन ड्यू टू दॅट द एक्झाइन बिकम्स थिक इन साइड द एक्झाइन द इंटाइन इज प्रेझेंट विच इज अ थिन अँड जनरली स्मूथ इन नेचर in between these exine and intine small openings are present which are known as the germ pores in dicot plants three germ pores are present while in monocot plants only one germ pore is present through this germ pore on the pollen grain germinates at the time of germination of the pollen grain we will see in that specific point inside these two layers the dense cytoplasm with a single nucleus is present so the pollen grain is a unicellular uninucleate haploid structure present in the plants ha jo pollen grain ahe unicellular ek cell ahe uninucleate ekas nucleus ahe ani meiosis zhalyanantar na to tayar hoto mhanun yala kay matlala hai haploid pollen grain we will see all these parts with the help of animated structure so this is the stamen consist of filament and the anther in the Uh, flower the filament gets attached to the thalamus so here we have to see the internal structure of the anther so this is the internal structure of the anther with the four pollen sacs and these are the different types of layer so this is the sterile tissue which is the connective which connects these two anther lobes with each other these are the pollen grains or the microspores which are present in the pollen chamber so we will see the outer different types of layers this is the outermost layer epidermis single layer endothecium two to three layers of middle layers are present and the tapetum which is present surrounding the pollen chamber pollen chamber cha kadene aslele ji ahe ti hi tapetum jacha aat madhe ya ja dista hai ha pollen mother cells so endomitosis is a type of mitosis in which the chromosome duplication and the chromatid separation takes place within the intact न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन आणि जे आता आपण जे काही गोष्टी आहेत हे आपल्याला जास्त गरजेचं नाही समजा पॉलिप्लाइडी म्हणजे काय वगैरे त्या गोष्टी आपल्याला इथं जास्त कन्सिडर करण्याची आवश्यकता नाही आपल्याला फक्त स्ट्रक्चर डिटेलमध्ये बघायचं हे मायक्रोस्पोअर मदर सेल्स किंवा पोलन मदर सेल ज्याच्यामध्ये रिडक्शन डिव्हिजन होते आणि त्याच्यापासून पोलनग्रेन या पद्धतीनं चार पोलनग्रेन तयार होतात आफ्टर मिओसिस इन अ पोलन मदर सेल फोर हॅप्लॉइड मायक्रोस्पोअर्स फॉर पोलनग्रेन चार प्रोड्यूस होणं which is known as the microsporogenesis so these are the pollen grains which are present so each pollen grain is this is the spiny exine this is the intine this is the two celled pollen grain this is small is the generative cell larger one is the tube cell outermost exine which is a thick and spiny in nature tacha aat madhe he ji ahe ti intine hai inner wall jo ahe to ha intine cha jo asto thin asto patal asto आणि त्या ठिकाणी दोघांचं काम जे आहे ते प्रोटेक्शनचं त्या ठिकाणी असतं ही लहान जे आहे ती जनरेटिव्ह सेल आणि हे जे आहे तो ट्यूब न्यूक्लियर जो आहे तो त्याच्यामध्ये त्या ठिकाणी या पद्धतीने आहे 
so this is all about the development uh, sorry structure of the anther which is present in the plants in the next lecture we will discuss about the uh, development of male and female gametophyte present in the plants